One of the top four insights on emergency response guides for electric vehicles. These key areas will highlight very important things for EV safety. So what is an emergency response guide, ERG, and why is it so important? Well, it's a document that goes through all the critical features on an electric vehicle. It lets first responders know how to access the occupants, what to do in case of fire, how to disable the vehicle. There's a lot of key points in that document that's really vital when first responders are working through an incident involving an electric vehicle. Now, one of the biggest issues with the emergency response guide is there's no standardized format being used by the auto industry right now. The manufacturers are kind of doing their own thing. And a lot of these ERGs, they're 30, 40, 50 pages long. And as an officer, I don't have time to be flipping through all these pages of documentation, trying to figure out what to do when we've got a critical incident that we're dealing with. Now, there is a standard out there. It's an ISO standard that certain manufacturers are starting to utilize. Tesla is doing a really good job with this, as well as GM. But unfortunately, all the other auto manufacturers haven't jumped on board with this yet. Eventually, this should be a standard document that's required by all auto manufacturers when that vehicle hits the market, when it's out to consumers. That way, firefighters and first responders, they have a lot of information at their fingertips once they have to deal with an incident involving these types of vehicles. The best thing about the ISO standard, it's a lot like the SDS sheet that we know from HAZMAT. It's a four page document and all the different sections are color coded. So there's a standardization there and it's a simple document that we can reference where everything's in the same place for all the vehicles out there. So hopefully eventually this will be adopted across the market. Now finding these ERGs is somewhat difficult. That's because there's no real central location for the emergency response guys to be stored. Now, NFPA does have a section on their website that lists all the vehicles out there, all the different model years, but it's up to the manufacturers to get NFPA that information, then it's up to NFPA to upload that information after it's been received. Some of the manufacturers have been doing a good job. Tesla, GM, again, they're doing a fantastic job when it comes to supplying that information to first responders, getting it onto the website. Unfortunately, other manufacturers, Ford, for example, very difficult to find a Ford ERG for certain vehicles. The most efficient way to find an emergency response guide right now, Google. Whatever search engine you wanna use, type in the year, the model, the make, ERG, emergency response guide afterwards to pull up the information. I wish I had a better recommendation on how to get these ERGs, but the reality is there's no good solution right now. Now there is different software out there that allows you to look up information on these vehicles. And one of these pieces of software, I've used this for a long time, about 13 years now, is the Modatech Crash Recovery System. It's an interactive software that gives a lot of information about any vehicle. You can look the vehicles up by year, make, model, VIN number, license plate number. But when you start talking about electric vehicles, it's a must have. It's a great piece of software, but there are license fees associated with it. There's two free apps out there you can get for either Apple or Android. The first is the EuroRescue app. It's been around for a while, comes out of Europe, but the information's kind of spotty. You can get information on the vehicles. Usually it's just a picture. Sometimes you get some documentation that goes through the steps on how to disable those vehicles. Other times that documentation's in German. So it's really hit or miss with that app. The other app out there, it's a newer app, new in 2023, is the EV Rescue app. Originally, this app started off with a small subscription fee, but since the time of launch, they became a nonprofit, and now they're offering this app for free. It's a great tool, a little buggy at times, but overall, it's probably one of the best pieces of software out there that's free that allows you to access these emergency response guides very quickly.